everyone. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this bracelet. Let me see. Focus, camera. Focus. Sorry about that. But now this bracelet, no, I usually name my bracelets. Well, this one, I'm going to let you guys, my viewers, name it. So if you look at this bracelet, I'll let you look at it. If you can think of a name that you think is good for this bracelet, it has to have, doesn't have to have anything to do with the color. I want it to do with like, the shape and the design. Leave it in the comment up below, and I'll pick. And if, if, I, if I get enough of them, and I'll pick my favorite, and I'll put it as the title, and then I'll put your name in the description that you named the bracelet for me. So here's a good look at it. So this is what we're going to be making today. So we're going to need a loom, obviously, bands, a hook, and C clip. Or an ice clip, or whatever you use. So you're going to need your loom in just a normal arrow like this configuration. I like to use two colors because then you get the stripe down the middle, but you can use one color if you want. I'm going to need yellow and red today. There's yellow for where the green is on this one, and red for where the yellow is on this one. So you're going to take your brands. First, you're going to need to do the stripe in the middle, because it has to, to make it on both sides. You have to do the stripe in the middle first, otherwise it won't work. Focus camera. There. I know. Yes, there. So you're going to just take it and lay them down the middle like you're making a chain. I'm using red for this. You know, it's laying down. Now, this is single band, not double bands. Just lay them right down the middle like that. So it's like this inside. Yeah, just so it make, uh, it's like you're making a chain, but you're not. Just lay them down the middle. This is single band, like I said, not double band. This whole design is single bands, not double bands. So otherwise it gets too thick. I like it when it's in, like single band because then it looks more loose and stuff like that. Single bands all the way down. Just lay it all the way down. And you go until you get to the bottom one. And this one right here. These two pigs in here you don't even need at all. And now, you're pretty much done with your whatever color you're using for your stripe bands. Now you need your other color. And now you take it. You're going to work one side of the loom, then we'll work the other side. So here, we're going to do this. We're going to remember all single bands. You're going to lay it there. Like that. You guys can see this. Like that down one like that. And then you go into the middle. So it looks like that. Make sure you push these down so they're not going to pop off. Looks like that. And then you take another band. And you go into the middle where you came back as one and two. And come back out. Whoopsie. Broken band. And then pull it down like that. And then bring it back in. See, this part creates these little, like, bubbly things. This is what you're making here. And then go back out. And go down. And go back in. And go out. And remember... It doesn't matter which of the sides you do first. I'm just doing this side because I feel like it. Because what I did in my other one. For me, when I look at the loom, it's my it's my left. But you can do whatever side. And then go back in. Like that. And then you go back out again. And you go down. And... You go back in. Like that. And then you do it one more time. Out. Down. And in. And there we go. I have one side done. This is what it should look like on your loom. And now, you do the same thing on the other side. So take the band. You can do it even cooler. You can make one side one color, one side the other color, make the middle another color. Make it three colors, but now I'm just doing two colors. You go out like that. Now we're working the other side, just so you know. 
Remember, all single bands. Down like that. This way. And then back in. So you make this like circle. And then back out. And down. And in. So like that. Little circle y thing. And out. And down. And in. Sorry, I'm looking at it in the camera and it's hard to do things when you look at the camera. Make sure it's in the shot so you see it. And then out. Down. And in. Out. Down. Whoops. And in. Out. Down. And in. One more time there. Just like that. So it should look just like that. Kind of like a lot, really tall snowman. There. And now, the next step is to take another band. You could use either color, but I like to use the outside color because it just makes it blend in better. So you take your band, put on your hook, and then double it like that. You can either just do it like that, or you can do it on your finger, or you can just wrap it on the hook, but I like to do it or on the peg, but I like to do it on the hook like this. And then you take your loom and you put it on this peg. So this is the top of your loom, and you want to put it at the bottom. Here, I'll show you. Here. This is the loom. Here. This is the loom. There's a bottom peg. I usually do it, wrap it on my hook, and then stretch it over. But for today, for video purposes, I'm going to just do this. You can just twist it. You can twist it three times if you like. I just think two makes it a little looser and a little stays looks nicer in my opinion. But you can do whatever you want. And now you're gonna go down in that cat band and then pull the top band, whichever way it goes, whatever side you did second, and pull it that way. And then I like to go down in and pull the next one over just to get it ready. And now I like to work this side, this side, this second side, bet for second first, the second side. You did first. There's how you did second. And then you go down in. And you loop it up. And then you, you just follow the pattern of where your bands go. And then it's, now here's where it gets a little trickier. Is in the middle. When you get when you get into the middle. You have to go down. You have to make sure you get the band that's going this way. This way right here on this side. Not this way. So that would be the top band. Because you guys, we put this on. Tie on second, so it should be on top. It makes it easier. Like that. See how it came this way? And then you just pull this one, like that. If it doesn't make a little teardrop shape like this, that means you might have pulled the wrong band. This is just a possibility, and you might have pulled the wrong one if it doesn't make a little teardrop like that. And you go like that. And again, you go in, and you find the top yellow. See it made a teardrop shape? That means it was in the right one. And you pull the next one down. It made a teardrop. It means it's right. On these ones, it's pretty easy because there's only one, like one or two bands per peg. But it's the middle one. You have to make sure you get the right band. You have to make sure you go in this band too. The one you just pulled over. You make sure you go down in that one too. And you pull it over. And then you just do this one. And you pull this one up and over. And then you go down in. Making sure to grab the one that goes the right direction. So you want to make your drop, maybe it goes right. And you pull this one forward like that. And you just keep going until you get your way all the way up to the top of your loom up here. And you just keep looping. Making sure to get the correct band. And if you get the wrong one, just put it back on the peg and go find the right one. Now I'm all the way up to the top. So now, we go back to the bottom and we loop the other side that we didn't loop yet. So we go down in, loop it up. 
down in, loop it up. And make sure that you go, you gotta be careful because there's this one right here is the one that's from this way. You gotta be careful of that one. You go down in this one and in this one. And pull that band that's not tight, the yellow one. And pull it this way. And see? This one and this one end up shaped different just because. Because this one also is pulling on this one. But if it makes a teardrop like this, that means it's right like this. And you just pull it forward and pull it forward. And again, make sure you get the right band. Make sure you go in this band right here and in this band right here. Go down in them. And don't t when you're doing the middle ones, try and make sure not to touch the red ones. Don't pull on the red ones because we'll do that last. And just keep looping. Make sure not to grab the red one or whatever your center color is. Just grab your outside. Just you grab your outside color, which for me is yellow. And just keep looping like this. You just loop it forward like this. Make sure you grab the correct band. Which for the side ones, it's pretty easy because there's only one really band you can grab. For the middle one, make sure you grab the last non-looped yellow band. And just pull it forward. If it makes a teardrop, that mostly means, most likely means it's right. And remember, don't grab your center band. Those ones you just leave on for now. Until you get all the way up to the top. So see, all these are looped. So now you go back down to the bottom again. In this cap band right here. You go in your cap band and you pull the red through to the front. Like that. Then you go down in there. And you just loop the red up forward like you're making a chain. You want to make sure you go down in the yellow and get the red. So that it connects, the, it connects to the yellow. You want to go around the yellow because that make it a little bit more weird. You make sure you go down in the red and then pull the red up. Like that. And then go down in the yellow and pull up the red. See? And you just chain the red right up through the yellow, which is how you get a stripe like that on both sides and stuff. Because you put it down first and you loop it last. Mix it so it's on both sides. And you just keep looping. Go down in the yellow and grab the red. Grab the red. Go down in the yellow and grab the red. Grab the red. And now we have it all loomed like this. So now the camera back up. And you're going to take your hook. And you see all these bands on this last peg right here? There's a whole bunch of yellow in the middle. How many are there? Four. Four yellow in the middle. There should be four. Two from this side of the loom and two from this side, and then one red in the back and one red in the front. So you take all your you take your hook, put it through that peg, and grab all the bands. And then take whatever color you're gonna use for your chainy bit for the back of your bracelet. I am going to happen to use yellow and pull one through all six of the bands on your hook. And for right now, we're gonna take a C clip. And clip it while we take it off the limb just so it doesn't fall apart. You could just make your whole little chainy bit now, but it's just this is easier for me at least. I got a little chainy bit flopping all over the place. So now it's secured up here. Make sure you see clip is hooked on there good. And now you can go and you can just use your hook or your fingers. I like to use my hook sometimes. And just take your bracelet off the limb. But be gentle so you don't snap any bands. Because that would not be fun if you just spent all the time making this and then your band snapping you had to start all over. Especially after you looped it all. Just take it off in any manner you like. Just don't snap the bands. Like I said. I like to do the sides and do the middle. I don't know why. I usually like to do my cap band first for sure. Because it's the one that usually has the most stress on it. Just keep working. Take your time. Because you don't want to snap it. Just take your time taking it off the limb. Some people just rip them right off. I don't like to do that because you could hurt, you could, you could, you could rip the band. And the male sometimes I'll just pull it a little bit because it's got less stress on it now. 
Just keep pulling it up. And take it off the last hook. And now you're done with your limb. Now you stretch it a little bit. And there is your bracelet, basically. And if you notice, it won't reach all the way around your arm. That's because it's just the loom length. But you can either make it again on your loom and then connect this end to it with a C-clip. And then make it go all the way around your arm. Or you can do it like I did here. And just put chain bits on the back. So that's how we're, I'm going to show you how to do it now. So take that little last band you added in to hold it together while you took it off the limb. Put your hook in it and take the C-clip off. Because the C-clip will just get in your way. And now I'm going to count that as band one. And for my size arm, I like to do six bands on one side and six on the other. So that's one. And this is going to be number two. Broken band. Number three. Four. Five. And six. And now, I'm going to take that C clip I had, I didn't put it away, and just clip it back on. So now you have this little chainy bit out of the back. So now you're going to go to the other end and find your cap band. Now, this is why. I didn't make my cap band super tight because this makes this part easier. You find your cap band, your beginning one. Now I, you can you can do however you like. You can count that as part of the bracelet and then add on six bands. But since mine is not is only doubled, it makes it a little looser. I like to count it as band one. So then this would make this band two, and this would be band three, and this is band four. And this is band 5. And this is band 6. And now if you didn't count that cat band as band 1, you'd add one more if you were doing the same size as me. But if you are, then you're done here. And then you need to take your bracelet, make sure it's straight so you can see right through it, and then stretch it out like that. And look at your other piece, make sure it's straight so it's not twisted. And then bring the ends together and clip this up on your hook onto your clip. And there, you just made a bracelet. It looks like this. If you notice, I'm not saying a name. Like I said at the beginning, this is going to be a viewer named bracelet. First one ever on my channel. So comment down below what you think I should name this bracelet. And I'll pick my favorite and I'll put it in the title and I'll put your name in the description so that everyone knows you named it. So this is what it looks like. If you like rainbow and bracelets, give this a thumbs up. Comment down below if you want me to do more viewer named ones. We'll see how this one goes if anyone likes it. And subscribe. Bye!